It is kind of rockabilly, their music. I like that. Nigel from Rough Trade forced me to take their single away uh, probably about a year ago, and I uh, thought it was fantastic. I'm 14. I'm Daisy. I'm 19. I'm Lewis. I'm 17. I sing, play drums, harmonica, piano, drums, guitar, piano, ukulele, banjo, accordion, and I sing as well. Lap steel and a bit of drums. Well, we've always like listened to Elvis and Johnny Cash like when we were little. Muddy Waters, um, Lightning Hopkins, <laughs> Howlin' Wolf, Sonny Boy Williamson, Louis Jordan, Louis Prima, and Louis Armstrong all the old blues R&B people. We were just sort of most comfortable playing like between ourselves like because when we first started out we used to play with the, the owner of the club then later on my dad joined playing rhythm guitar and then sort of my mum couldn't really play bass but um sort of said come and do it because we didn't really have a bass player. But like even when we used to rehearse with like the other guitarists and stuff my dad would always be there like like playing anyway <laughs> And if he, remember he said to Big Steve, the other guitarist we had, he's like, oh, that doesn't rock. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't usually get, like, old crowds, like, boring old people. I like playing live, because she um, just got the, the big crowd in front of you, and they're all really getting into it. When you've got no-one, like, giving you, like, feedback, when you're just playing in front of no-one, it seems pointless. <laughs> Recording's a nightmare. The amount of takes you have to do. And... Don't do that many. They just especially they moan, but got... they don't actually do that many. You like got... do like three takes, and there's oh I'm tired. And we all play live in the room. Um, all of us in, into an eight track um, tape recorder, one inch. We just maybe do like one vocal overdub, or maybe put some something to make it go somewhere. But usually it's only like one or two overdubs. It's all like vintage 50s, 40s and 60s gear. There's no like computer hiding under the desk, like which which will spoil it or anything. So you do it complete analog, like neat paths, no plug-in box. I don't even know what that is, but I got into it because like I, I like 78s um, records and I wanted to make them. I think if we had a producer, he or she wouldn't get far. Because if he told if he told any of us to play in a certain way, we'd just say no. It's a bit um, annoying how journalists focus on our age instead of our music, really, which is what it's about. A lot of like journalists these days sort of um, say this rockabilly band. We don't actually do a rockabilly song. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but that's that's what people say when they don't really know what to call us. They just say, oh yeah, they got quiffs. They must be rockabilly. We're doing it the way we want to do it. <laughs> 